Hey, what's up? This is Wayne with Trey County Locksmith Service, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Ford F-150. This is the new truck that we're checking out right here. Uh, I've mentioned it a couple times, but I think the next service vehicle that we're going to be using is not going to be a van. It's going to be a pickup truck because it's four-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive vans are just so hard to find. So we've got the six-and-a-half-foot bed. we got it hooked up to our big, giant, safe-moving trailer right here. And we've got a Liberty Fat Boy loaded up right now. Um, so that's about a, oh, how much is that thing? I'll look it up. I think they're 1,500 pounds or something like that. <clears throat> Maybe not quite that much. Maybe like 1,100 pounds. I'll look it up for to be specific later. But, uh, you know, the van is just tired. It's got over 200,000 miles on it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it just doesn't like to tow this trailer with the extra added weight and then the safe in there too i've got a really long delivery today so um you know we're going to try the truck out and see how it works uh i pulled it around yesterday a little bit and it seemed to do way way better lots more power um lots more control lots more stability um and when i ran it across the scale when i run across the scale in the van with the trailer empty <clears throat> i mean with the trailer loaded we're running about twelve thousand pounds uh, when I ran this across the scale with the trailer empty, it was about eight. So, um, a lot lighter, a lot more significant, uh, more power, more control, and um, <clears throat> better fuel economy. I got 16.2 miles to the gallon, whereas the van with a 5.4 liter V8, 99 Chevy, or I'm sorry, 99 Ford Econoline, uh, gets about eight. So, significant fuel uh increasing and uh, we'll just see how it does today we got this bad boy lined up in there um you know and we'll uh we'll see how it does so we'll do some <clears throat> we'll try and hook up the dash cam and get some dash cam footage tight turns mountain passes all that fun stuff we're gonna see today so thanks for watching Alrighty, so we got some pretty steep <clears throat> hills and some pretty tight turns uh Checking out the Ford F-150 3.5 liter V6 with EcoBoost. Six-speed transmission. We are currently hauling a trailer with a safe in it. Uh, Liberty Fat Boy. So we've got a little weight on it. Uh, it's handling the curves and the uh, hills and the straightaways nice. Um, <clears throat> this is a little more back roads. Um, <clears throat> type of driving environment uh, had some interstate speeds on the way over here did great um, this trailer is enclosed and it's over eight feet tall <clears throat> from the deck eight feet tall so overall height is I think like 11 feet or something like that um, so it's basically a giant parachute back there so it's not just the weight uh, it's also a significant amount of wind drag as well it's basically like a lead parachute behind this thing um, and this is telling it extremely well uh, we could do any kind of high weight speeds no problem at all um, toes right along in fifth gear for the most part if you start to go downhill or level out pretty flat and pretty straight it'll kick up to six but uh, so far average gas mileage is 16.1 gallons Per mile which is pretty much double what my van would normally be getting um, <clears throat> uh, pretty impressed with it I definitely know that it's back there I can feel you know the <clears throat> I can feel it back there for sure um, but that was the same way with with the, with the van with the 250 van um, even more so I would feel it would feel it with that as opposed to this so this is just some of the country and countryside and environment that we're driving through here hilly up down um, braking's really good too uh, <clears throat> the trucks relying solely on the truck brakes there are no trailer brakes so it's relying on the vehicle only uh, and um, you know with intelligent driving it seems to be perfect uh, perfectly fine um, it's not stressing to stop it's not it's not doing anything weird we're not getting any brake pad smell 
and you'll really get that on those long, long up and down hills. I mean, this doesn't look like a, that much of an incline, but you can definitely tell that it's a, it's a pretty significant incline. I've actually made this trip one time in the van before uh, with uh, safe delivery, and it was, <clears throat> it was a struggle. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a long, slow ordeal. So, uh, definitely impressed so far. If we see anything else cool, we'll try and flip on the dash cam here and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. We've got some pretty significant hills coming up here. Once again, we're towing just fine. Um, keep up with the speed limit, absolutely no problem at all with power to spare. <clears throat> coming back down the hills, same thing. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. It's handling the curves and the uh, uneven road surface along with all the, um, you know, this is all uphill, fairly significant uh, incline all the way up and then very twisty and turny so you really cannot get any kind of momentum. So you've literally got to start at the bottom like right here, you know, we're all the way down to about 20 miles an hour <clears throat> and then we'll have to come back up to or 40 miles an hour, whatever the speed limit is here, and then we'll crest most likely here shortly at the top, and then we'll have to use some of the engine braking power and uh, the truck braking power as well um, to get it back under control while we go down. Um, extremely impressed. Everything's working out really, really good so far on this trip. And here we're coming down this hill. We can go ahead and manually <clears throat> select what gear we'd like to be in. Right now we're in third gear. Seems to be holding back pretty nicely. Might just kick it down into second and see what happens. Looks like we're going to be pushing about 2,500 RPM at 30 miles an hour, which is our speed limit. And it's holding it back fairly well. The smaller 3.5 liter uh, engine is just not going to have a whole lot of holding back force uh, for us, but it does help out significantly. You can go ahead and see. I am not using any foot braking power at all right now. It's completely held back by the vehicle. Um, I'll let you know if we need to engage the brakes. Go. We're going back up to 50 miles an hour. Uh, the engine's still holding this back. I'm just going to maintain about 40 miles an hour <clears throat> just to keep everything under control. Uh, still not touching the brakes. RPMs are coming up to about 3,500 RPM. And we're going to have to slow down for this curve. Anyways, still not touching the brake. And the vehicle maintains control. I'm not going to have to touch the brake to go into this corner. Uh, so this is with a significant load on the trailer. So I am extremely happy with that. We can take this corner and we do not have to touch the brakes on the vehicle. It's holding it back quite nicely. So both up and downhill, uh, very impressed. Very, very impressed. Wayne's Lock Shop, we strive to be the leading resource in tips, tricks, and educational videos for locksmiths. Videos are added every week on topics ranging from rekeying high security locks to marketing your locksmith business and everything in between. Safe openings, car openings, installation tool reviews, and bypass methods are all plentiful on this secure website built by and for locksmiths. If you are a locksmith and want an inexpensive resource that will prove invaluable to you and your business, then Wayne's Lock Shop is the place for you. Please sign up today at waynesLockshop.com. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using 
and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact. Leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.